everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about a different kind of painting. A different kind of painting that I started as a very young kid and um, a friend of mine's older sister handed me my first paintbrush and introduced me to Paint My Number. And throughout the years, Paint My Number has been my go-to for relaxation and creativity. I have enjoyed painting for years and I would say probably got back into this type of painting in the last mm, about five years. What I discovered was that this Paint My Number is a multi-million dollar business. It, it is something that's going strong and I believe that in my heart that it will continue to do so. I'm here to talk to you about the ugly truth. The ugly truth is your paintings might look like crap. <laughs> That's right. You're painting with um, acrylic paints, which acrylic paints have a tendency to dry quickly and leave you with things that aren't looking so great. So like many, there's, there's a bunch of YouTube um, people out there who will show you some different techniques on how to make your paintings look better. And I followed a lot of those techniques and I still was not pleased with what my paintings look like. From six feet, six to ten feet away, my paintings look absolutely gorgeous. This painting back here uh, with the coffee mug thing, if you get really, really close to it, it looks like crap. And on the, my girl over here, I did a lot of extra work on her. She actually looks really, really good. But that's because I did extra work on her. So what happens when I'm saying extra work is that you're going to run out of paints. And as a consumer, you're not going to be very happy because you're spending a whole lot of time trying to cover up those numbers and you're not being, you're, you're not being successful at it. So I searched high and low for some type of solution. I have it in this bottle. And this bottle will make paint by number it's revolutionary. So much so I patent what's in this bottle. It will take your paint by numbers from being so so irritating, ugly, frustrating to be an absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. Yep, gorgeous. So I'm going to, I've got some footage here that I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes um, and what it looks like in regards to how awesome it can look. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what it looks like it looks like crap. Let me just a minute. Okay. So what I have down here is a painting that I worked on. Sorry. <laughs> a cat. Looks like crap. I mean everything about it it just I mean you can see you can see numbers. You can see fourteen. 14, 14, 14, right there. There, I mean, it just, it looks awful. And it's not because I didn't work hard on it. I did work hard on it. And I'm going to pick up my camera here. He have, has a tendency to go out of focus. I apologize. But when he comes back into focus, you can see... You can see the sixes. You can see you see a lot of sixes. Um, 
it just looks you can see if I can let's see if I can see where my fingers are. Where's my finger? There it is. See the three? See the greens? You can see some numbers that I missed, but that's okay. I, I this one I got frustrated with and I actually stopped working on it because it looked so awful. And let's see if I can show you up in sorry. My camera's not going to go any further. Okay, I'll go back over here. Let's see this. Right in here. Looks pretty bad. So, um, in down here. And I'm going to clean that off. <clears throat> Again, just dip your stuff your um, cleaning tool into the solution and just rub it off. And if by chance there's some leftover <coughs> stuff there, you can use a makeup wipe to clean that off there. Sorry, I'm just getting my coffee ready here. Just there we go. All right. Um. If these brushes get to the point where they're unruly, one you can throw them away. Or two, you can trim them. This one looks like it might need trimmed. You can invest in other brushes. You'll find that you'll have your favorites. If it gets all icky on the bottom, don't worry about it. It's fine. You can reuse them for quite a little while before you need a new one. You can always keep a cup of water and kind of switch off your brushes to make it wipe out.
one good thing about the solution is it dries quickly so you don't have to worry about oh my gosh do I need to wait till it dries yeah Alright, I'm back. <coughs> so, as I showed you, these two paintings, for the most part, I wouldn't, from a distance, I mean, on camera, that it looks pretty good, and, and my wine glass thing looks pretty good. And it's not because of the manufacturer is bad, it's just, it's just frustrating to put a lot of work into it and it looked like that, right? But as I showed you some footage of what it can, what this solution does is remove the number. What's in here and what these little guys here can do, let me show you there, and these are kind of like a cotton ball, but cotton balls don't work at all. Cotton balls are too soft. These are kind of hard and rough. So basically what you're doing is you're taking the solution and you're rubbing out the number. It's gone. No more covering it up with extra paint. Using a rollerball pen of grays or whites or whatever, white out or painting and globbing paint over and over and over. And I'm talking about ma majority of the co colors that come on a paint by number. I'm talking about your whites, grays, yellows, pinks, reds, blues, purples. I don't know what, oh, grays, right? So if I can remove the number and then paint, it's gone. I have finished several paintings since I discovered this and they are absolutely gorgeous. I can remove lines with it if I want to to make blending an absolute, like a blending so yeah, there you have it. I also um, wanted to share that with you and what the what is in here is this little guy here. This is Dollar Tree, fifty percent rubbing alcohol. So it's, the ratio is one to one, half of this and the other half is water. That's it. It's the perfect solution to an ugly, ugly situation. So I also like these little guys too. As you can see, my this isn't, it's clean, it's nice. Um, so these little guys are used for, or I use them for quilling. Quilling is when you take these things and you make really pretty pictures out of them. People put glue in these and then you can detail where your glue is. But what I found is I can either take the lid off this I absolutely love these and I usually when I buy them I usually buy them in bulk because I use them for so many different things glue alcohol water that sort of thing so you can either take the lid off and, and dip your brush into this and then rub it off or you can actually you can take this and put a little teeny drop on the number and then rub it off um, I have these brushes and I also have these little brushes here for the itty bitty, and I do mean itty bitty numbers. Because we know that 
if it's got a lot of detail, that your numbers, um, you're, you may need a little bit of um, a small, even smaller than what this guy is. And I always keep these guys here available. Um, once you wipe up the, and basically what you're doing is you're rubbing off the ink. Because paint by numbers are made on printers with ink. So this solution will remove the ink and then you can use a baby wipe to kind of clean up your area if you need to. And there you have it. Easy. Turn your paint my numbers into gorgeous, gorgeous work. Something you'll be proud of. Something where people will look at it and wonder. You said I was paint my number, but I'm not seeing anything that looks like a paint my number. It actually looks gorgeous. And you didn't work that much more. Because see what happens is here's here's the uglier truth of it is. If you're putting layer after layer after layer of paint to cover up your numbers, the, the possibility if you're running out of paint as you before you finish your painting is pretty high because you've had to put five, six layers of paint on to cover up that number. Well, if the number is gone, you don't have to worry about it. You may want to put a couple layers on it just to make it look good. But there you have it. So, yeah. Now, I will say, I, I will show you this technique. I am not personally responsible for you wiping out your numbers and not knowing what your numbers are that you wiped out. <laughs> That's not my problem. Uh, I will say if your paint do, painting does not come with a, I call it a map, it's basically the, it's usually a piece of paper that comes with it that basically allows you to, um, it, it's just a picture of, of your painting. Um, use your phone, take a picture of it, that sort of thing if you're unsure of that, that you're going to wipe out your number not remember what it is. <laughs> That's not my problem. But you will be extremely pleased with the outcome of your painting. So there you have it. So <clears throat> like I said, I patented this method of um, how to make paint my number. Absolutely gorgeous. So please be f feel free to give it a try. I think you're going to absolutely love it. Yep. I think you're going to love it. So there you have it. So Go out there, be great, be awesome, and hit that little subscribe button. And I'm going to be showing um, several of these videos in regards to um, wiping out the numbers and how good it can look and that sort of thing. Um, going through different um, vendors to try out different um, different paint by number companies and that sort of thing so you can and I'll be sharing that with you as time goes on so and I've got some other techniques out there that um, I will share with you also this is a lot of information to take in so go out there be great cover up nah, don't cover up those numbers wipe them out all right so have a good day and I will see you soon Talk to you soon. Bye.